Hi, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make bases like the ones in the track North Station by Nelver. So this is the original track and these are the bases that we're going to be making. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any of future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more. Showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So with all that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so this sound is actually separated into many layers. The first one will be this sound. And then we have many harmonic uh, layers. But what I'm gonna show you is how to make one of these sounds and then how to vary it enough that you can just layer and layer and layer different harmonics. But let's begin with the first sound. Okay, so here I have an initialized patch and I'm gonna be holding a D sharp zero. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn on the sub, load monster five and turn on Osler B. Nothing super special right now. We're gonna map LFO number one into the wave tail position here to get the yo yo but we're actually not going to be using those harmonics. Let's now boost the unison on both oscillators. And what we're going to do is we're going to route these two oscillators through the filter. We're going to select a low pass with a 24 decibels per octave gain reduction. And what we're going to do is we're going to automate this cutoff to evolve over time and to move uh, up as the sound progresses. So. I'm not going to map an LFO here. I actually did it manually in the DAW because this allows me to see the length of the curve in the arrangement. So I'm going to show you that right now. So this line right here is the one that represents the automation of the filter. As you can see, it goes from 110 all the way up to 4.7K. So now going back into Serum, what we're going to do is we're going to go into the effects tab and then we're going to load the distortion. We're going to boost the drive. We're going to turn on the chorus set it on high pass, bring it down, bring the mix down, add some gain with a compressor. And then we're going to EQ the sound, boosting some of the low mids and bringing down some of the highs. Cool. And this is it for the actual sound. Now, of course, you can just change the wavetables and different um, warping modes. But for now, this is it. The principle behind the sound is to have a really cool complex wavetable like this one that is just being filtered like that. Cool. So now let's jump into the next sound. Okay. So as I show you before, the sound is uh, four different sounds or layers, but I'm just going to show you how to make one and then how to add variations to this one. So you can have as many layers as you want. So once more, the principle behind this sound is to have very harmonically rich wave tables that are filtered. So for that, again, we're going to use uh, Monster 5. It's one of my favorite wave tables, and we're going to load uh, 4088. And that's the sound you should be getting. We're also going to turn on the sub. And then again, we're going to add unison to both oscillators. Same setup. We're also going to automate the uh, wave tail position. Like that, maybe a little bit slower. And then what we're going to do is we're going to map an LFO into the level of both oscillators in a way that it um, has the envelope of the sound that we want. So for example, uh, we can set this to one bar, set it on envelope. And now it has the two hits followed by the kind of reversed tail. And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn on a filter once again. We're going to bring this uh, cutoff down. And what we want is for this filter to move up once all of the hits are done. So once again, we're going to set this to one bar, set our envelope, and then at the end, it's just going to open like that. And then we're going to boost the drive like that. Uh, and you can have different movements in the process if you want, just like that. And then we're going to Add hyper distortion 
and chorus. Similar setup to the other sound. We're going to add multiband compression. Just like that. And then once again, we're going to double down on the filters. We can uh, have another uh, low pass here. Just like that. We can put it before the compressor if you want. Just make sure that you boost the release so it doesn't have a very long tail. Just like that. Otherwise, it will sound like that. Then we can add some reverb at the end. And this is it. Like this is the basic setup of the sound. Uh, now what you can do is you can have, for example, one of these layers to be um, in a different harmonic per se, like that. You can change the different wavetables. And then you can add resonances on the filters like that. Maybe not so dramatic. Um, but something like this. For example, this is one layer and then we just duplicate this one and then change the resonance spot, um, the wavetables. Let me just change this to, I don't know, something like um, ethos, why not? Something like that. We can also pitch it, pitch it up. And then you should repeat this process of varying and varying and varying until you get enough layers that you can just stack, right? Um, and that's it for the sound. Then you just have to mix them, uh, meaning that maybe you would like to have uh, EQing uh, in a different way or more compression on other layers, so on and so on. Here I have, as you can see, one, two, three, four, five, six layers. That may be a little bit too much, but as you can see, each layer adds uh, something. And that is it for the sound. So yeah, uh, that is how you make basses like Nelver in the track North Station. If you like this video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you want to support the channel, consider grabbing one of our products at dmbacademy.com. We have crazy preset packs. We have producer bundles made by pro artists like Icicle, Current Value, Avis, Mastic, and many more showing you how to make tracks from start to finish with all project files, presets, samples, etc. included. And speaking about samples and presets, if you want the ones from this video, consider joining Preset Pass. The link is also in the description. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.